So guys, welcome to the channel. I know you heard the news. You heard the news. I heard the news. We all seen the news. We also watched him cry and plea to his fans to make him get the sympathy card, which that's probably what he did. Says he cried yesterday due to his broken knee and his stolen van, which was not stolen. Let's let's just let's just go ahead and get this. This is a perfect storm of things that could have happened that we predicted. We knew something was going to happen. Um, now he should probably pretty much lose all credibility, but his drones are pretty loyal to him, which is disgusting because I don't know. Fuck that guy, um, sweetie. Listen, Chili, you're a pussy. There's there's no way around it. You're a coward. You're a lying coward. You're a piece of shit. You was never going to come. You was going to come and get that money, that sweet money you was going to take from those kids that has cancer. You know, that charity that this fight was supposed to be for. But you weaseled yourself out. Everybody knew this was going to happen. This is the perfect storm of people. And, you know, if your followers don't see that, then there's a problem. Your followers are ridiculous. Most of them. Anyways, I mean, how you get support at this point is beyond me. I don't get it. Now, I know what you're doing now. You're going after the trolls. You're going after Kate because you want all eyes off of you. You want to blame it on somebody else. So you're going to take it out on Kate. You're going to take it out on Legicator. Oh, by the way. Oh, I can whoop Legicator. I'm going to beat him up one that you're not. You was never going to win. You're not fucking Usain Bolt, you're not Muhammad Ali, you're not Goku, you're not fucking Santa Claus. You're neither of those things. You're just a piece of shit grifter that lost everything at this point. I mean, that's kind of sad. I do feel sorry for you. But I also feel sorry for all the people that you let down that was going to come to Ashland, Kentucky, just to see this. Just, just let's, let's think about this here, sweetie. So that money, some of that money, which you knew you was going to take some of it, you was going to take your cut. You knew that to, from the beginning. That's what you wanted. That's the only reason you signed that contract is because you had money coming to you. But now your van is stolen and your knee is broken and you have such high blood pressure. Uh, lay off the quaaludes, in my opinion. You, the drugs you do, in my opinion, I don't know if you do drugs or not, but this is my opinion. That you're probably high on meth. In my opinion. I can't prove these things, dude. I just can't. But you're a piece of shit. You're a loser. You're a grifter. You know, I hate to come hard on you because this is disappointing. This is really disappointing. This could have been good for you. This really could. This could have been really good for you. Now, you said you was going to win, so there would have been no problem, right? You would have came. You would have beat Chad. Is that, that's what you said. Now, everybody knows that what wasn't what was going to happen to begin with. You was going to lose. This was this was going to be good for you. This could have been good for your channel. But here you are. Here you are. You're online right now grifting, blaming Kate for your problems, blaming all the trolls, doing the woe is me, having people make f feel sorry for you. Yeah, I, I know. You're like, oh, you're fat. Yeah, I, I know. I, I can't stop putting things in my mouth just like you can't stop putting things up your ass. Probably the quaaludes, in my opinion. You know, I, I, I hate to say this. I hate to say this about a person. I don't really know you. You short fuck. I'm just going to say I'm massively disappointed. Massively. For a minute. For a minute. You know, I kind of respected you for a minute. That you signed a contract and you was going to be a man. But no, you're not going to be a man. Your van's going to magically show up after you pay to get it unrepoed, which, let's, let's face it, it's probably what happened. Your self-driving van, you know? We don't stop. We don't stop for nothing, except for now you, you stop, and you cried about it. And you're trying to make your fans f cry about it. But, yo, I gotta save the world! I gotta save the Bora! She's a joke, too. Oh, I gotta save Turtle Boy! He's a joke, too. I'm realizing there's more than one piece of shit on the internet. And you're on top of that. Between you, Turtle Boy, and Deborah... At this point, there's no difference between you guys. Ends are all the same. Bobby Laws, all the same. There's no difference. You guys are bus shit actors doing shit jobs, just being idiots. I, and all I can say is just fuck you. Like I'm, I'm, you know, I'm pretty pissed off about this. So Chad, 
unlike you, is was actually putting in the work. He got this shit set up. He got this thing rolling. He got these things moving. He's been training nonstop. Because you you no, you said you're going to kick his ass. You you said you he's not even on your playing field. But, but here you are. You're quitting. Oh, you have to have this reason. I mean, you're going to show a bill that you went to the doctor. That's not any type of record. It didn't say anything. It just says, hey, you paid some money. You probably didn't pay any money. Let's just face it. You're you're broke right now. Your grift isn't working. That's why you're attacking Kate right now. And you'll probably attack me. You'll probably attack everybody else, Blue Bacon, because nothing's ever your fault. And when people start walking away from you, you go into defense mode because why not you you can't blame yourself because you're perfect in every way imaginable you're a joke dude you're a joke i hope your fans see this i hope this ruins your youtube career i mean it's not going to take long it's not going to take long it might not be today it might not be tomorrow but it's going to happen it's 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 going to crumble and this isn't helping you this isn't helping you in any way. So I, I just I just don't understand how you thought this was gonna play out. Did you honestly think people was going to believe you? And like I said, you have your uh group of drones that will follow you everywhere every time you open up that wallet of, for the trifold, you know, sell that indestructible trifold for Charlie Boy. Oh Charlie Boy. You can't even take care of a dog. You can't even take care of yourself. You're pathetic, dude. And yes, I am attacking you right now. I am straight up attacking you. Because what you did is way worse than anything you say about these police. It, it's true. You're, you're, you're taking money from people. You try to make these people feel sorry for you. That's one thing you're doing. You lie nonstop. And this shit's proven stuff. You say there's no victims. There's plenty of victims, sweetie. There's plenty of them. How many of them has turned on you? How many of them has walked away from you? How many has came out? I know you're going to say, oh, well, Tina Slay is, you know, awful. She's a liar. You're using her child as a prop. Okay? You're using Kate as a prop. You're using all these people, Deborah, as a prop. Bobby Laws as a prop, which Bobby Laws is a piece of shit, too. In my opinion, by the way. All this is my opinion, guys. I can't prove these things by the court of law and protected by the First Amendment of the United States. Government, thank you very much, and go fuck yourself. Please. Yeah, I, I'm wound up. I'm really wound up. Yo, you, you, you think you can get away with things like this. And you know what? You'll get away with it. You, you'll be fine for a little bit. But it's going to catch up with you. You're not saving the world. Nobody cares what you have to say. Nobody. Not one person. Maybe your drones. Every time they open that wallet for you. But sooner or later, it's all going to come tr crumbling down. It's, it's going to crumble. You're just going to have to wait and see. It's going to happen. It's just a matter of time, dude. You're ruining it yourself. Whatever good intentions you may have had at the beginning is now being washed away. People are starting to take notice. There's nothing special about you. You couldn't make it as a Power Ranger. You couldn't sell your jock sock. Hey, is that one of those? The jock sock? Your, your penis sock. You couldn't make it as a fucking diabetes superhero. Yeah, I know. I've got diabetes. You could have definitely helped me out. You. You. You, I'm talking to you. You, you, you could have helped me out with that diabetes powers you've got there, sir. Could have definitely helped me out. Yeah, I know, my channel is small and you have 45,000 people following you. I wonder how many of those people you actually paid. How many people have you bought? Well, you know what I'm talking about. Don't act like you don't. I'm not saying you're buying people individually. And this, I can't prove. This is my opinion. I can't prove this. I never see, out of the 45,000 people you have, I don't see very many people actually chatting with you. So a lot of this shit's inflated to begin with. What else are you going to lie about, sweetie? 
What else are you going? Are you going to come up here? Do you want you want another reason to come? You you could beat me up. Here, dude, just come up. Fight me. It, I mean, you're not going to do it anyways. You, you can kick my ass. You're, I'm not even on your level. I mean, you're a Super Saiyan God. You're fucking Ric Flair. You're fucking Abraham Lincoln. Hulk Hogan. The guy from the Odyssey. You know, Homer. You're, you're all of those. You're, you're a magical man. You're the Black Power Ranger. We don't stop. Until you just stopped, like right now, where you just stopped. You're going to call me sad. Look at you. What are you? What's your mission? You say you have a mission, but it's not really a mission, is it? Let's see how much I can get from these people. Let's walk away with the money. Let's bring on the grift. Let's bring the dog in. People give money to, because of dogs. People like dogs. People like a sad story. People like... You know, people come to you because they have nowhere else to go. They think they have nothing else to go. And you come in sweeping in like you're fucking Jesus. But let's face it. Who have you actually helped? What lawsuit have you actually won? You haven't. You say they're ongoing, but they're not working out in your favor. They never will. You call handcuffs torture cuffs. You call a jail cell a dungeon. This isn't the fucking medieval times, dude. It's not. I don't care what you say. It's not. It's just the way it is. So, here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. If you think you can fight and beat Chad, and you said this so many times, but you're running away right now. There's no justification for it. If you was a fighter, if you was a hero, if you was into this, you would be here no matter what. You're not going to fight Chad. Act big all you want. Act big. Bring that ego out. Show people what you really are, which you are. It's easy to see, but I know you're going to continue taking advice from Turtle Boy, Turtle Man, that sick fuck. Is that what you're going to do because you want to get after Kate because we're showing your grift? A lot of people sees your grift. A lot. It's You want to talk about transparency. It's easy to see. There's nothing like you think you're hiding things and you, you say things. Oh, I can't tell. I can't tell people. I can't tell you guys. I have to hold this as a secret, but it's life altering. It's, it's, you know, I just can't tell anybody. Dude, seriously. Nobody believes your shit. Like I said, maybe you're loyal drones. Why don't you just have them open that wallet a little bit more so you can get your van back? Again, guys, this is my opinion. I can't prove any of these things. And Chili, go fuck yourself, please. And that's, a, you, that's right. I just called you Chili. I didn't call you Sweetie. I didn't. It's a magical moment right here, guys. You know, I might sound like the most conceited douchebag right now. And I'm pretty livid about this. I'm not going to lie. You know, Chad's my friend. I don't care what you say about police. I don't. Your blind hate is ridiculous. See, you talk about things like racism. And you you say those are bad things, right? But when you can put one person... If you take one person out of a group of ten... And that one person fucks up. Does that make all ten of those people fucking crazy? Fucking bad? No. No. The media already portrays the cops in a bad light to begin with. And that's part of your grift. You had nothing to do with Breonna Taylor. That's another grift. And you should be a fucking ashamed of yourself. You really should. You should be ashamed of yourself, man. Trying to get clicks from that. There's a reason why you got kicked off TikTok. You are a racist. You are a piece of shit. You are a sexist. You are a fucking loser. A pathetic one. I don't feel sorry for you. I don't. If you want to say I'm slandering you, this is all my opinion, dude. I can say whatever the fuck I want at this point. This is just my opinion. I'm allowed to have an opinion on the internet. It's, it's that easy. 
I could just say whatever I want. Allegedly. You allegedly do these things, okay? You're not helping anybody. If you want to add me to your federal lawsuit, go ahead. That's not going to pan out either. Nothing you do is going to pan out like you think. You're a 50-year-old nobody. It's what you are. Maybe you had great aspirations at the beginning. Maybe you was bound to do something good. But all credibility has walked out the door at this point. And I feel sorry for your followers. I feel sorry for the people that you're grifting. I feel sorry for your dog. I feel sorry for those kids at St. Jude. You know, money was going to go to St. Jude's, but you you don't have any time for St. Jude's. You don't have time to help kids with cancer. I mean, you're okay taking money from kids with cancer. That's okay. Allegedly, in my opinion. You, you, you're about that. You, I mean, that's the main reason why you signed that contract to begin with. I'm not going to think any other way about it. But guys, you know, I'm sorry this is disappointing. I'm sorry that you had to see something like this happen. We knew it was going to happen. We, we predicted this day one. You lost. Chad wins at this point. Chad wins this fight. Doesn't matter what you say. You say, oh, it's a technicality. No, he wins. You have no receipts, dude. You have no receipts. And you can put up a... You, you check this out, dude. I Here we go. Here we go. That's a piece of paper right there. You, you know what that says? Uh, it's, a, it's a code. You know what that code's for? I don't know. Maybe a doctor. I went to a doctor once and he gave me a code. You know, I got a physical though. My blood pressure. I had blood pressure problems there, buddy. You, you see all the medicine I... I take, well, I mean, are you just taking quaaludes, meth, heroin, whatever? My opinion. I can't prove these things. Just my opinion. Allegedly. So hang out with your good friends. Have fun with Turtle Guy. Have fun with him. He's a piece of shit to you. It's okay. It's okay. I know. I know. I know. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Be sure to share this video. If you're watching this and you make it to the end, be sure to share this video on any platform you can. Just do it. Just share the video. Get the word out. Let him see this. He's going to see it anyways. He's going to look at the comments and like, somebody threatened to kill me. Somebody threatened to kill me. And when it's, they clearly didn't. Clearly, they didn't. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it very much. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. I love you guys very much, and I'll see you soon.